Thank you. Thank you. It's Tuesday, uh, Sunday was my birthday, and per team rules, you have to bring cake to the ring for the boys. So I'm blessing the boys with some, uh, some vegan chocolate cake here. They loved it last year. This is my seventh year pro. I can say that I've been kind of through it all. Uh, winning streak, losing streaks, playing a lot, not playing a lot. And like the video title says, it's it's been a struggle. Um, we're nine games in. I've only played two of those games, which was the season opener and then that Erebro game at home. And not like I played bad. I mean, my adjusted save percentage was 94 and 92 in those games. So I, I felt like I got some tough games and I played okay. Not, not to my like highest level that I, th I think I can have. Just looking forward to getting getting on a roll and getting some games in and you know, that's how my seasons usually are. Obviously not playing as much as I feel like I should be playing, but it becomes that much more important when I get my next opportunity. So I wanna make sure I'm doing everything I can to be ready for that. So I wanted to help some other goalies, other athletes who might be in the same kind of position that things might not be going your way right now. The biggest thing I have is you can only focus on yourself, right? You can't focus on the other players. You can't focus on what the other team is doing against you. You can't make roster decisions because you're not the coach. So it's easy to get caught up in all that, but you just have to focus on yourself. And when you show up to practice, you do your job, control yourself and you can only focus on yourself. So don't let any of the outside noise bother you. Get 1% better every day. I made a video on this, this off season, you know, just about the work I've put in. And to me, that's a mindset when I start every day. It's going to the rink, making sure I do everything I can in the gym to get 1% better. Because the opposite is getting 1% worse. And over time, that curve is gonna, with 1% gains, it's next thing you know, in a couple months, the difference between the hard work and the average work is right about here. So it might not feel like much at the moment, but that's the mindset you gotta have 1% better every day. And that way you'll see huge gains at the end of the road. And like I said, practice is very important. That's the one way you get confidence when you're not playing. Obviously your confidence takes a hit when you're not playing, you're questioning yourself. and uh, That's where practice comes in. So I'm gonna throw it over to my first NHL coach, Mike Babcock, who had this great little speech about how you get confidence. So who gives you confidence? My own performance. You earn your confidence, right? That's what you do. So when you do a good job every day, and to me, uh, it's real simple for me. You put in the work, you do the preparation, and then when you get to the exam, you're not in panic mode because you did all the preparation, you feel good about yourself. So keep doing the work. Don't get soft between your ears and battle, but you earn your confidence. Nobody gives it to you, you earn it. Same for the Maple Leafs, same for Mike Babcock, same for you. So you make your confidence. Work hard at practice, make sure as a goal you stop all those pucks, everything you battle for every puck, and then you start to feel like, yeah, I can I can make these saves, and that's when your confidence goes up when you're not playing. And then, then you show up to your next game, you have that mindset, you have a good game, and poof, your confidence is through the sky. My Bauer Mach chest protector is finally here and this thing is a tank, but it still has great mobility. The arms are very different from my previous models. They move really well. The color is yellow because the rest of my set was supposed to be yellow and then I forgot to change the color on the chest protector order. But a lot of coverage, kind of like the Hyperlite, very mobile, so very happy with it.
Another thing, a former coach, Sheldon Keefe, who is coach for the Maple Leafs right now, uh, said is that you are the one who tells a story about your situation in your head. If you are having a tough time, you can start to complain and you're like, oh, the coach is this and they're out to get me and nobody cares. Like you are the one telling that story, nobody else. So you can decide on what kind of attitude you have about your current situation. It's just current, things are gonna change. Make sure to always have a positive story to tell yourself. If you think about it, it's up to you to decide what kind of story you tell yourself about your situation. It's also very important to find balance from your sport, from your work. Like for me, sometimes when hockey's done, I leave the rink, I try not to think hockey for the rest of the day. And then the next day I show up to the rink, I'm feeling refreshed, I feel good about hockey again. Fresh set of eyes to look at everything and um, I'm excited again to go to the rink at work. Whitney's going back to uh, Minnesota for a couple weeks, so we're just dropping her off at the train station. She's got an early flight tomorrow, so we'll miss her, but my mom's coming to help out. Yeah, it's just gonna be a quick two weeks. She's got some stuff to take care of, so uh, we'll send her on her way. Are you gonna miss mommy? Yeah. Bye. Bye. We love you. Bye. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Are you gonna be okay? You're a tough girl. Bye, mommy. I'll see you soon. Hey, honeys, it's okay. But I'm here in Lexington to play games, and it's so easy to start overthinking things like where your game's at, your future, your career, like how everything's going to look out. But those things I talked about, when I start to focus on those, everything kind of becomes clear. And we have about six months left in the season, so that's a long time. And I'll be taking advantage of every day when I show up to the rink to make myself better. And I know I'll be one of the best goalies in the league and you're gonna help the team out in the playoffs when, when it really matters. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips on how you deal with not playing or tough times during the season. Everything's temporary. So just curious to hear if you guys have any tips that I didn't mention today. But that's gonna do it. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on those weekly videos. And I'll see you next time.